Hey, this is Rafina, co-founder of Career Logu. This is Career Cafe. With my eight years of experience working in tech, I have seen hundreds of successful engineers and their career path in close quarters. And Cryo, we help thousands of people to transform their tech careers. This is an alert to share answers for most commonly asked questions based on curated insights and very dear action plan to larger audience. This is the question bowl filled to the brain with a lot of burning questions. Today, we are going to take one of the most commonly asked questions, which is, I have been a manual tester for the last four to five years. Can I get to automation testing? Let me throw some context. We look at some of the world quality reports. In 2015, only 15% of the testing used to happen in an automated way. At the same time, in 2033, this number is about 63 percentage. Even when you start developing a product, the first thing you think about how do I test this in an automated way in a more scalable manner, right? So now this question is a lot more relevant for a lot of people who are into automation, manual testing careers, think about how to plan for their automation switch, right? Let me take an example of a user, Amit. Amit, let's say, is 2018 graduate, working in the industry for the last four to five years for one of the large multi industry companies as a manual tester. It's in the financial services domain. He's really good at what he does, right? He understands the product really well. He understands the domain and users really well. And he like, writes amazing test cases and tests manually. Unfortunately, now even his company is moving towards automation testing, but that's a different team. And he continued to work in manual testing knowing whatever role he does is probably not going to exist a few years down the line. And if you look at Amin, from career perspective, there are some challenges he faces. Why? He understands the role he is performing is not what be relevant three years down the line. When he wants to move to automation testing, he has been out of touch, right? He has never programmed. He has started his career as a manual tester. He has the fear of programming, right? He doesn't know where to start his automation journey. When he asks for an internal transition, that's not happening, right? When he starts applying for automation jobs outside, people are asking for relevant automation experience. I think that's where Amit and a lot of people like Amit are stuck. Now, what do we do? What is the plan for Amit, right? Knowing that manual testing jobs are moving towards automation a few years down the line, it's very, very important for every manual tester to start thinking about how to translate their theory knowledge into uh, automation testing knowledge. The transition to automation testing starts with they getting confidence about our programming language, right? Automation testing generally done with, let's say, Java, some cases Python. Anybody who wants to get into automation testing has to pick up programming language. They need to learn one programming language, get comfortable with it. Let's say I'm going to fix up Java. He has to spend time. It will take probably two months, three months for him to learn the language and improve his basic programming skills with syntax, all the libraries in the language. Next comes how to automate, right? Let's say he goes to the Java path. He has to pick up Selenium. He has to pick up Selenium, probably start automating some simple UI tasks. Let's say I'm going to travel so maybe be using Redbust. I'm going to start automating how oh, I book my tickets in Redbust using Selenium. That's a good starting point. Right? Once I'm expect six months on it, that's when he actually gains the confidence that he can program, he can actually automate. The next point for him to solve is how do we get opportunities? Right? Once he has a skill set, he can go to his manager and talk about, hey, this is what I've learned in the last six months. I can actually automate a lot of things what we're doing today. That's a good starting point. He can actually show the scripts he has written. He can actually show the GitHub portfolio he has written himself by actually developing automation scripts. Right? That's a very good starting point for him to ask for opportunities. The moment you actually put your skills up front and ask for opportunities, your team and management actually looks for you whenever there's the next big problem they have solved with automation, right? With that, we can start applying jobs outside for automation testing roles, right? When he applies jobs outside, he is not just saying, I've been doing manual testing, I want to get into automation, right? I've been doing manual testing, I have stayed myself in the last six months, this is my skill set. If you look at my demonstrable proof, that's when he actually makes his case very, very critical, right? So while you start doing it, you can actually start learning API testing. You can understand tools like Postman, Rest Assured. You start learning what is performance testing. You start understanding how to generate traffic using JMeter, load testing, all of it you start learning. This is exactly the path a cryo learner goes through, right? We help them to learn the language, get the confidence they can program. We help them to pick up simple frameworks, start with UI testing, then get into API and all the distributed system testing, right? And so on goes through the journey for six to nine months. After that, when they start asking for internal opportunities, start searching for a job, opportunities start automatically open up, right? Which I vividly remember three, four research learners in the past, right? When I spoke to them, when I actually personally counseled that, I felt 
they were really really frustrated right and they lacked a lot of lot of confidence they had a lot of baggage what they can do what they cannot do right once they went through career journey for 6 to 9 months i could see a completely different version of themselves right it is very very satisfying to see how them actually uh, succeeding out of that so for anyone who's looking to move from manual to automation testing i would say plan yourself to put effort for 9 months to upskill once you have the right skill set because you already have a professional you understand how testing works it's a matter of learning a language and tool set once you have that you will gain confidence to present yourself in front of the opportunities right as that's when the opportunity start opening up it's very much doable all of you can actually uh, get into automation testing with real confidence right you don't need to lose your qa skills that you already have right so have the confidence to put the effort and look for opportunities all of you can actually move into automation engineer or sdl roles in the future all the best